What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, do me a quick favor. Hit the subscription button. It's free. Like I always say guys, I'm not here to sell packages, to sell anything really, okay? So just do me the quick favor. This week, we're talking NFL picks. If you guys are new, every week I give five picks, all money line, okay? No parlays, no teasers, okay? You guys wanna try to do that type of stuff? Sure, you might get lucky one week and you might hit, okay? But here we have a program, we have a system, money line all day, okay? And for a lot of people who are asking me, Lindo, do you have some, you know, some program that you use? No, guys, if you come to my house on a Sunday, I got every single game going. The system is simple. I just tune in every Sunday and I watch the games from start to finish. I got an eye for who is good and who isn't. I never even played football, okay? But if you look at the numbers, after six weeks, I'm 22 and eight with a winning percentage of 73.3%. And so far I have a profit of $1,400, okay? So if you've taken my picks from week one through week six, you've made money, it's that simple. And for people who are saying I'm cap, Go look at the videos. They're all on my channel, okay? From week one to week six. And if you guys took my lock of the year that I told you, which was the Kansas City Chiefs, I believe back in week three or four after they had two losses, I said that is my lock of the year. I only do one a year, okay? I guaranteed that win. Chiefs got it done, okay? I said sprinkle a little bit more on that game. And it worked okay so guys let's get into it week seven this week's a little challenging because there's a lot of games that are lopsided in terms of odds so I have a few games I have a few more games than five I really had to narrow it down but let's get right into it every single week I've taken the Chiefs and they've burned me a few times this week they're on the road going against the Titans Titans are iffy, okay? They've had a rough year so far as well, but I gotta go with the Chiefs here, even though they're on the road at a minus 220. I like the Chiefs here. Be careful though, because the Titans are sneaky. They're sneaky with King Henry, but I just see the Chiefs getting it done, okay? Let's go to game number two. Green Bay Packers at home against the Washington, the Washington football team, okay? Green Bay, after week one, I don't know what they were doing week one, they have looked great ever since, okay? They lost to the Saints week one, everyone freaked out. The Packers are a contending team right now for the Super Bowl, and Aaron Rodgers could win the MVP again. I mean, guys, the Packers look good right now, okay? I gotta ride them again. Odds aren't great. We get them at a minus 350. You're not going to break the bank with a minus 350. I realize that. But guys, like I always say, it's not about, you know, trying to uh, break the bank every game. Sometimes you have to take the small wins and they add up over time. This is a long season. Like I always say, too, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Don't think you're going to get rich after one game or one week, okay? Green Bay Packers for my game number two pick at a minus 350. Let's go pack. Okay, guys, game number three. Okay, I could take a few games where, let's say, the Arizona Cardinals or the Rams. Both of those games are over a minus 1,000. You look at the Arizona Cardinals, they play the Texans at home. That's a minus 1,600. Sure, I could take that. And like I just said, the little wins add up. But if I take the Cardinals this week at a minus 1,600, for a thousand bucks, I win 62 bucks. I can't do that. There's gotta be a fine line here with the money lines. That's, you know, that's what I always say. You can take the favorites most of the time, in my opinion, but if you take the Cardinals this week at a minus 1600, or you take the Rams, both teams at home, Rams are a minus 1100, you're not making any money really. And the chances of them losing are low, 
but come on, I'm not gonna put a thousand bucks up to win 60. There's gotta be a line, okay? So those two games right there, I looked at it, but I'm not gonna win any money. I'm not gonna win you guys any money. So if you're feeling really insecure and you wanna really just add up those wins, sure, take the Cardinals, take the Rams, but I'm not taking them this week. My game number three is, it's tough to say because I don't love this team, is the New England Patriots, okay? They're at home, they're playing the Jets. You guys know how I feel about the Jets. I think they're the worst team in the NFL. I think their quarterback shouldn't even be in the NFL. So I'm gonna go with the Patriots here, okay? You get the Patriots at a minus, let's see, a minus 280. I don't love putting money on teams that I don't think are great, okay? I don't think the Patriots are a great team. I really don't. But do I think they're better at home than the Jets? Sure, sure. So that's my game number three pick, Patriots. And then we go game number four. This is the biggest odds of the day. It's a minus 700 Tampa Bay Bucks at home against the Chicago Bears. The Bears are still trying to figure out their identity. Their defense is okay. It's not great, but it's the best part of their team, okay? Their offense is shaky, but I think Fields for Chicago could be a threat down the road if they get a few pieces to complement it. This could be a weird game, but I'm gonna go with the Bucks minus 700. It's not gonna break the bank, but this is, it's decent enough to chip away, okay? It's only gonna win you about 150 bucks, that's fine though. You can't, you know, you gotta throw in one of these games each week, okay? And then for the game number five, I'm gonna go with the Ravens again. I think the Ravens have finally found their groove. Lamar is looking unstoppable. They're at home divisional game playing the Bengals. This is another tricky game. The Bengals look decent this year, okay? They're second right now in the division. Burrow's finding himself. He's a top quarterback in the NFL, if you ask me. But something tells me the Ravens get it done. I can see Cincinnati taking an early lead in this game, though. But the Ravens are known to come from behind. You get them this week at a minus 250. Not bad, not terrible. I'll take that. Especially at home, divisional game. Fine with me. So that's my game number five pick. Like I said, guys, so far I'm 22 and eight after six weeks. Can't be mad at a 73.3% winning percentage, okay? I've always been told since I started this gambling thing back when I was uh, 13 that if you're above 60% you're a professional so guys if you're if you're getting tired of losing every week taking your own picks just take my picks I have a proven track record I'm not charging you guys for this they're all free okay uh, but guys thanks again for tuning in leave in the comments below who you got if you think I'm right if you think I'm wrong okay and then I'll make a recap video going over my picks and until next time, good luck to everybody this weekend in week seven. Let's go. Peace.